Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can end a song with Suno. In order to do so, here we are at Suno.com and we're all logged in. And there's a few ways that we can go about this. Now, when it comes to ending a song with Suno, when you create a song, oftentimes the songs that you create will end abruptly like it'll come to the end of the generation and then all of a sudden it'll just cut off abruptly and in a situation like that what you typically want to do is you want to extend the song so for example if we just pull something up here you can see that we have this button here that says edit and if we click on that then that's going to bring us to this beautiful new edit screen that has recently been added and we can do a few things with Suno. So first off uh, here, we have the extend option. So if you come to the end of the song and you want it to keep going, like maybe you just want a cool jam that's, uh, that lasts for a few more minutes, then you can do that. You can use the extend function and you can extend the song further than that. Now, sometimes what I have found is that if you extend a song too much, it tends to fall apart after a while. I think if you do like two extensions, usually in the third extension, um, I have found that sometimes the quality drops quite a bit. And so it's just important to keep that in mind. Now, there are ways of working around that. So one of the ways that you can do that is to use the replace section function. So that's something that you can do if you're ever getting bad quality in a certain part of the song. Try using the replace section uh, option. And uh, we're not going to go too deep into that right now because we're going to focus here just on ending a song. But um, one thing you can do, again, if you reach the end of a song and it just kind of cuts off, then you can use the extend option. But then in the extension, you might end up with a similar problem. So there's a couple ways of dealing with that. One, you can use the fade out function here in the edit screen. If you click on fade out, then wow, look at that. Now we get this nice little fade out option that shows up. And what we can do is we can even slide that exactly where we want it. So at this point in the song, if you can kind of see the song is kind of tapering out here a bit, a bit anyways, um, but it does kind of cut off at the end. It's one of, it's an example of a song that kind of cuts off. So the fact that they added this new fade out function, really nice, really helpful. Now, another thing that you can do, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to the create screen here. And um, what you can do that's not a bad idea to uh, get in the habit of is if you are writing a song and uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just do an instrumental because uh, in this case having lyrics isn't necessarily going to help prove this point at all but we can just set that to instrumental and then here in style of music we can add our details for the song that we're looking for. And one of the things that you might want to do is you might want to specify in the style of music that you want the song to fade out at the end, or you can even type in something like outro. So this is something that I'll often do. We'll just kind of give uh, an example here. We'll click on a couple of uh, style options, and then I'm going to type in outro. And what this does is this tells Suno that you want an outro for this song. Um, so that's one thing that you can do. Another thing, now, if we were to toggle off the custom option, and we're just going to use sort of a basic song description, then we can say something like, uh, here you have an atmosphere disco song about a bad breakup. Um, you can add at the end with an outro at the end, something like that. So I'll give you an example. A jazz song with a clean outro something like that now you can play around with it because the ai is going to respond to some degree to your description whatever it is that you put in there but essentially as long as you put in the word their outro then that is uh, going to indicate to the ai that you want there to be an outro in the song now, this is not always going to work 100%, and this is where using that fade out option that we took a look at. So again, if we go to the edit option for any song, 
then we can always use the fade out option. And the fact that they added that in is really, really nice because now you don't have to wrestle so much with the prompting because sometimes the prompting doesn't get it right. So the fact that they added out that, that added in that fade out option is really great. Another thing you can do is you can use the replace uh, section option. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So you can see here that now this is going to give us this uh, here. And what we want to do, let's see. Doesn't I'm not sure if there's a way to just move that entirely, but let's just say we wanted to replace this section here. Then what we can do is um, we can go ahead and generate replacements, but we also probably want to, okay. I think we're gonna to want to add here, uh, we could just do something like outro or something like that if we wanted to, uh, or we could even say add outro to end something like that. And then we can click generate replacements and that will generate this specific section of the song. Now, what we might want to do is we might want to tighten that up a bit just to this part right here. But um, that's essentially it. That'll give you an idea of how it is that you can uh, end your song effectively in Suno. In the past, that's been a little bit more clunky, but the fact that they added the fade out option and they added the replace, the replace section option. And uh, again, you can use that extend as well. If you want the song to keep on going, you want it to maybe get a little bit more of a jam in there or something like that, then you can use that extend option. But once you're ready for the song to end, then that's where you're going to want to use either fade out or replace section. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and click extend here really quick. And uh, so there you go. So we still have here add outro to end. And you could even do something like, um, let's say we wanted a guitar solo, comma, add outro to end. Um, something along those lines that's going to tell suno that you want the song to come to an end so those are all some useful tricks to helping you make sure that your song has a tight ending and if uh, you've been frustrated with that before then if you just use some of these tips that we're giving you here then you should be able to end your song successfully either with a fade out or specifying an outro. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.